Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. Tonight we're going to do just a quick little bench update, I think. I've been working on something up here and uh, finished something up today. For once. <laughs> if you want to call it that, I guess. Dr. No Good, this guy right here, he's been helping me out a little bit over the past few days. And uh, yeah, finished something up. So let's uh, take it out here and show you, huh? I know a few of you have asked on this if I've been working on it at all lately and uh, decided to pull it out of the box here about a week and a half, two weeks ago and get working on it a little bit more. Finished it up today. Uh, just put the minor little uh, add-ons on it, the windows, rear bumper and such, headlights in it today. Called it quits. Uh, started out with the uh, Bill Jenkins 66 Nova AMT kit. The body is a uh, Jimmy Flintstone resin that I had picked up years and years ago. It was a sedan delivery and I had the, the solid panels in the window here so I cut them out and ended up just putting some clear acetate sheets in for the, the side windows and the back window on it. Uh, decals are all out of the kit. Only thing I did differently on this, oops, is I dot knock over doctor, no good here. Gonna come back and haunt me in my sleep now. <laughs> uh, the only thing I did with this is I used the uh, chassis out of the Pro Street Chevelle, and I ended up narrowing it up and putting the nine-inch racing slicks underneath it, just to give it kind of a little bit of a wider tire in the back. It's got the blue, blue stripe uh, slicks on it. Um, taped it off, painted it. I did use two sheets of uh, decal and did the roof on it. You can kind of see in the middle here where the two separate. That way it's got the candy stripes on the roof like what Bill had on his, the real car, the 66. The back end. Kit decals on this were a little finicky. They were a little brittle when I pulled them, or when I pulled them off the sheet. The uh, top of the E is a little uh, piece missing out of it and then a little bit on the, the 327 this cubic inch more letters on the hood broke on me uh, grumpy's toy decal broke into about four pieces I tried getting back it back together the best I could put the number two at the end for grumpy's toy two. put a small block in it ended up putting dual carbs on it Kind of keeping along the lines of a super stalker. So I don't know what the rules were in super stock back then to to know what I could get away with or not, but I did go with the nine inch wides and then the dual carbs on the engine. The Bill Jenkins decal that was supposed to go on this side obliterated itself, so I didn't bother putting it on. Just left it off. All in all, that's about it. Pretty fun little kit to put together with the, the wagon body. Just wanted to do something different. For those of you that know me, I'm kind of a one of the type of a person that likes to build the what-if cars. Just for something different. So that's that one. <laughs> and in the background here, as you can see, I've been working on the KW a little bit more. I got the engine sitting inside the frame, tires and wheels on it today, um, air cleaner, I mounted that up on there, that's been on there for a while, been working on the fuel tanks for it, I got those all sitting in white primer, I'm going to start to shoot a little bit of purple on them here next in the next few days, next week whenever, get those hung on here. I taped off the chrome belt line for the fuel tank straps on it and then painted them, primed them in white. But uh, I painted the airbags on it today. I've been waiting to do that before I put the tires and wheels on. I've been kind of dragging my feet on it. And you can see the light bar underneath it here. This will have six lights in it. I'll paint the the bucket silver on it and then put six uh, red lights in it. 
just to kind of dress it up. And then, and then the tail light bar that I built for the back, that'll have the tail lights mounted in that with the mud flaps hanging off of it. But yeah, it's coming along slowly but surely. The wheels are out of the KW Papa truck. That's what this chassis is out of. But the tires, the tires themselves, the rubber is the uh, Mobius uh, tires. They're a little bit lower profile than the kit tires, so it gives a little bit of a lower stance, a little bit lower look to the or shorter look to the height, the height of the tire. Plus, to it help lower the chassis down just a little bit. I already cut the springs on the front or the front ax drive axle and then on the steer axle. I cut those and notched them out to get you know kind of lower the lower the chassis of the truck anyway, just to drop it down a little bit. Give it a little bit of a lowered look, custom look. Well that's the chassis. And then the old hot rod and over here. I know there's a few guys that are subscribers here that like the old deuces, like the Novus, so I'm sure somebody will like this little hot rod. <laughs> But yeah, I got a few cars set up for uh, going to the show tomorrow. Tomorrow's Custom Kemp's. I'm going to pick up my friend Dwayne in his hometown, and I'm going to swing down and pick up my son, and three of us are going to go out to Custom Kemp's tomorrow and enjoy the day. We're going to take a few cars out, show them off, and see what's all around on the tables for show stuff. I don't know if I'll be taking pictures tomorrow or not, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll try to snap a few just to kind of put a quick little video together we'll see try to work it work it out on the new phone here or this phone here and stuff on Brian's phone see what happens but see how it goes and I got a few minutes here I'm gonna for fun grins and giggles I'm gonna throw something else here in here a minute yeah I'll set this over here out of the way this is one of Jimmy Flintstone's resin bodies and uh, wild Willie Borsch a uh, drag chassis underneath it, and this is something I did for fun a couple of years ago. Nash Metropolitan Delivery. Wanted to build kind of a just a fun looking gasser looking car. Put stock steels on the front, slotted mags on the rear. Oop, got a little bit of a alignment issue here. <laughs> but uh, engine, you can't see it. Uh, hoods glued on to it. Let's see I must have lost my injector scoop on there too. It's not in there. But it's just sitting on the Wild Willie Borsch drag chassis. It was a already built chassis. I just borrowed it, pirated it out from underneath another kit and threw it under here. Put the Ratfink decals on it. Then on the back, I had some custom decals made for one of my red show rods. I put a little bad wagon decal on the back here just to kind of have a little fun with it. But that's just like I say, it's just something I built for fun. This paint's a little like the peach color of the paint that I had left over from my old S10 that I had years ago. I had uh, lavender and peach accents on a black S10 that I had years ago since wrecked it and totaled it out but yeah it's another story <laughs> but i had some uh spray paint left over from when i was detailing the truck out and that's what i used down here with the white up on the roof whatever but yeah there we go <laughs> magic of uh video you can fix your cars put them back together keep shooting dug the injector head it was in the bottom of the box that I had the car in pull, pull it out and stuck it on quick yeah a couple little fun cars and having fun building here hope all you guys are building something build something crazy held something fun have fun with it it's only plastic right hack it up cut it up chop it drop it do what you want have fun and enjoy with it, and uh, we'll see you on the corner, everyone. Have a good weekend. Take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.